Hi, my name is Joost Alablas. I'm a PhD researcher at the ERC funded project Design for Changing Values um, at the VTI department at TPN. And I want to tell you today a little bit about my uh, topic of my research called Ideals in Transition. Um, I think you might have heard about uh, the value sensitive design method during your studies. Um, it's also called Design for Values. Uh, these are methods to address values of ethical importance uh, while we are designing technologies and systems. Uh, instead of waiting, what is often the case, um, until we have introduced the technology and start thinking about long-term effects, these two methods try to embed these values early on and try to front load these ethical concerns in the early stages of design processes. Uh, we can think here of values like health, autonomy, equality, justice, privacy, sustainability, etc. Um, this very simple picture captures it uh, nicely. Uh, we start thinking about what kind of values we find important. We start thinking about the norms we associate in our everyday life with realizing these values. And then we start thinking about which design requirements would um, realize those norms. Um, that sounds Great, there is a problem with value sensitive design and that's the question what happens when values change during the lifetime of a technology, uh, especially if we're talking about multi-generational systems and technologies. Uh, we can imagine that other values become more important or they are conceptualized differently or new uh, norms are associated with a certain value. Uh, our team tries to address this issue and my focus is on ideals and utopian visions in the role in energy transitions. Now, a quick word about ideals. There are specific kind of values, I think. They're often unfeasible, uncompromisable. They are also future oriented and we use them to navigate through a series of problems and issues in our societies and our own lives. The ideal functions here as a kind of a yardstick, yardstick to compare different solutions and outcomes to a certain problem. And so ideals are long term ethical goals that we know we might never achieve, but we think, still think it's worthwhile to pursue them. Um, I see a conflict here between changing values in a society and these long term institutionalized ideals. Uh, the most famous uh, example is justice, ideal justice as, as, as Rawls uh, sees it. Um, but there are other examples as well. Um, how do I do this? I have uh, some case studies I already did and I tried to build a descriptive and normative framework for the function of ideals in energy systems. Um, so ideals and values in the transition to nuclear energy in France. This is my first case study um, about uh, the years 1940, late 1940s until the 1970s. I have done a case study about ideals and imaginaries of tidal power in the UK. And finally, there is uh, something that you might find it interesting to work on. So I can imagine uh, doing another case study about, uh, yeah, something, um, a technology or uh, um, a certain a system that, um, yeah, uh, uses ideals or is very much idealized. Well, if you're interested after this very abstract talk, let me know. Um, you can find my contact details on the poster. Thank you very much.